Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the um, spring on the Hot Tool Curling Iron. Um, I actually just bought this new one, which is the Nano Ceramic, and it came with two replacement hooks. And the reason I had to buy that, because this one died. Well, it didn't die, The this thing stopped working. So I didn't know that um, they had came with replacement hooks, or spring hooks, so I kind of just, I think, threw the package away, but the new one came with it, so I'm using that one to replace this one. So I'm going to show you how to do it. All you need is just a screwdriver and that's all. Okay, so here is the, um, I actually just did this, I did a trial run to see if I could do it myself. Um, this is the actual, I replaced it already. See, now it works. All you have to do is just replace that spring, which is right here. You can kind of see it. This is what you need to replace. But I'm going to show you how to take this apart so that you could do it yourself. So for the very first step is just to take the stand off, which is you just pull it up like this and it comes right off and we'll put that aside. And you need a good size um, screwdriver, which in my case I'm going to use two of them because one, or you can just use a small one usually, whichever one. I have two different size ones here. I don't know if you can really see, but um, one's a little bit smaller than the other, but it's not very much difference. I think you can just use a small one for both. But So we're going to have to take these ones off first. So you just turn it. And it'll come right off like this. You see how it's turning? Okay, so it takes right off. So make sure you keep these screws. And then we're gonna do this side. So with your hand holding on to the clamp so it doesn't fly away. And this one will come right off too. And you can just use your finger kind of too if it works permits, but if not, keep turning. It's giving my arm a good workout, so yeah. So I have this one here that just came out. I'm gonna put it right on the table so I don't lose it. So now you have this coming off and it's gonna look like this. So pretty much one more step you have to do is turn this one. And this time I'm using a smaller, um, screwdriver. Kind of just turn this and this comes right off. You don't even actually have to take this off all the way. So this is actually a good spring. This is the bad spring. Notice how like the good spring, this thing is like staying on here. The bad one's kind of like sliding all over the place. But maybe if I just try to, I don't know. I'm not going to try to use the bad one, but this is the one I had already replaced, but I'm going to move over here. Here's a good spring. So to put it back in, you just got to make sure that if places onto this plate with this bottom part, it's a hook, kind of hooks onto the curling base, so make sure it stays that way. And you're going to lift it up a little bit to fit this under. There you go. So it kind of like does this. You see what I'm doing here? So that these two guys are kind of kind of clamped in like this. Yeah. Okay? Within that square. So here's a good let me get a close up like this, okay? Make sure it's nice and squared and tight, and then you're gonna screw it on. So with your left hand holding on and your right hand screwing or whichever hand you want to use. It's just easier for me this way because my right hand has is gonna do the screwing. And you just make sure it's really tight. Okay. And also make sure this thing is in the middle right here too. So now that that's done, we're going to put it back. You're going to hold on to it with your left hand. And you're going to press it down as if you're trying to match the hole. There we go. Get it nice and tight in there. Okay. And this side should be a lot easier. Voila! Now you have the working curling iron again. And we'll put the clamp back on. So make sure it's, um, I guess it's, it goes like this. So put this side back on and here. And here you go. I think.
think I'm doing it right. Oh wait, I think I had it wrong backwards. But oh yeah, here you go. It's supposed to be like this. Either way, it should, I mean, there you go. So, thank you for watching.